Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Borderlands 3 to a super exciting video that I'm super keen to bring to you guys. I've collected every single legendary in Borderlands 3. It took a really, really long time, like several months. Uh, but we have them all. I'm going to show you guys exactly where all the dedicated drops are for each of those legendary weapons. I'm going to show you guys on the map where they are. If they're in a particular spot, I'll run it to. I'll run my character to it so you guys can see where to find it. If it's a quest reward, I'll show you guys all the necessary steps and all that stuff. In this video, it's just going to be the pistols. I'll have all the videos separate for pistols, assault rifles, SMGs, down to shields, artifacts, class ones, all that stuff. I'm going to have a video for each of them, and they'll all be linked in the description if you want any of those. I will also be covering all the DLC weapons separately and also any seasonal event weapons. I don't want to chuck them all in here. One, because not all the DLCs are out yet, and seasonal events are going to keep coming out throughout the game. So I'll cover those separately. If you're watching this video a little later on after release, check the description. It might be linked down there already. Also, just quickly, some key information about the video. Most weapons, probably like 95% of weapons in this game, can well drop on top of their dedicated drop location. So probably like the 5%-ish uh, weapons that do not well drop, I'll write, cannot well drop somewhere in the screen. It'll be quite obvious for those ones, so you know that only that dedicated drop is the only location you can get it from. If it's not written there, it means it can well drop as well. Now I figure there's going to be a lot of different kind of players watching these videos. Uh, so there'll be a lot of new players, people who have played for a long time, or people who haven't played for a while and are coming back to the game. So just a bit of information on dedicated drops. They do not change depending on many different things. Guardian rank luck doesn't change dedicated drop rates. Um, artifacts that have luck on them doesn't change uh, dedicated loot drops. Your mayhem level, your actual level in the game, and true vault hunter mode, normal mode, or if there's a new mode that's going to be released later on, they do not change the dedicated drop rates. They are set all the time. The only difference is, depending on your level, if you guys are in a higher mayhem level with the current system we have, the anointed drop rates of those weapons will be increased. So the drop rate of the weapon, not going to change, but the chance of it being anointed if you're in a high mayhem level is increased. So it's definitely worth going to the high mayhem levels if you guys can take on those kinds of bosses. On top of that, some of these weapons can take a while to farm, unfortunately, because some bosses have several dedicated drops in their loot pool. For example, some uh, bosses have three legendaries in their loot pool. So say if their drop rate's about 10% for their legendaries, 10% uh, of the time it's going to drop one of them and it's going to randomly cycle between the three to see which one it's going to drop. So sometimes you can take up to like 50 runs, maybe even more to get the particular one you're looking for because sometimes RNG can just totally troll you. Also, if there are any updates to the game or major changes that affect this video in any way, I'll put them in the top comment, the pinned top comment of this video. So you guys are more than welcome to check it out there if you're watching this video a little bit later on. And just one final thing before we get into the dedicated drops. If you guys enjoy this video or find it helpful whatsoever, I'd really appreciate if you guys would smash subscribe down below. If you guys want to like the video and share it, help my channel grow even more and I'd really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to come check us out over on Twitch, I live stream every single day just after I post my YouTube videos. You guys can check it out in the description down below or just search Cody McHugh on Twitch. Uh, it's always just a fun time hanging out with people that like Borderlands 3 and just chilling, playing some Borderlands 3 with viewers and just getting up to some fun shenanigans in Borderlands 3. Oh, and if you guys want to leave a comment down below, if you guys have any pro tips or suggestions or anything like that for a particular farm, I farmed all the weapons, but not extensively for each individual one. So I'll have some tips as we go through, but if you guys have any more suggestions, I'd love to see them in the comment section down below, particularly for the new players in the community. That would be amazing to see. But yeah, without further ado, here are the dedicated drops. I go from brand order of which they go in the backpacks and there is timestamps in the top comment pinned down there. So if you guys want to skip to a particular gun, you're more than welcome to click the timestamps down below. It'll be in the description and the top comment and you guys can skip through the video if you'd like. Okay, so first up on the list is the Link Pistol. This is an Atlas Pistol. It's the current one I have in my hand. This is the one right here. It's at level 57. It cannot come anointed and it cannot come in an elemental type. The uh, one thing about this, you can farm a boss for it, but you do have to have a side mission completed to actually unlock the boss to then farm it. That boss you're going to be farming is called the Anointed Alpha, and the mission you can unlock him from is called Malevolent Practice. You can collect that mission from Sir Hamlock. If you guys don't know where to find Sir Hamlock, you can actually find him on Sanctuary and in Eden 6. So from the Eden 6 location, just after you rescue Sir Hamlock from a Warden in the main campaign story, uh, you will be able to collect the side mission from Eden 6 in Floodmore Basin. Uh, the Noddy Peak is the closest uh, fast travel station right here. He'll be standing next to Wayne Wright Jacobs. Otherwise, you guys can just talk to him at Sanctuary. He's got a little office just above Marcus's um, shop here. So from the shop just here, I'm sure everyone knows where Marcus's joint is. Just go upstairs, turn around, and in this little building here, you will find Sir Hamlock himself, in which you'll be able to collect the mission from 
I'm just here. Now, once you guys have finished that mission, you guys will be able to farm the Anointed Alpha in Eden 6 in the Anvil area. From the fast travel station at the bottom of the screen here, gonna run through the entire area filled with mobs to get to this big ambush arena thing just here. There is a new station just back here, so the run isn't too long. Just wanna run through here up the stairs and in this room towards the back you'll find a bunch of cells where the anointed alpha will spawn. I'll show you guys a run on screen real quick of me farming the anointed alpha from that new station. That is generally the closest one. There is a secondary option if you guys want to go to the um, room where you find Tiny Tina. She has an ammo dump there if you guys are running low on ammo. Just takes a little bit longer to run out from that room. But like I said in the back of the room there will be a bunch of cells where he will spawn. Uh, he does have some immunity stages depending on how much damage you're putting out. You can skip them if you are strong enough. Otherwise, he'll have a weird shield thing in which uh, three to four transparent versions of himself will come out. Once you kill those, his uh, shield will break and you'll be able to kill him. Also, he has three legendaries in his dedicated loot pool, including the Link, the Ogre Assault Rifle, as well as the Infinity Pistol. So he has three legendaries in which the Link can drop. Okay, up next we have the COV pistol, starting with the Lineage, Linoge, I actually know how to pronounce it, but it's this one right here on screen. It can come in a bunch of different variations with the pallet count. I believe it's three to five, maybe even six. This one's the times five one, which is pretty rare to get. It can come anointed and it can only come in two elemental types, being fire and corrosive. Now, as for obtaining this one, it actually unlocks super early in the game in the Pandora planet in the Droughts area from the fast travel station, literally called the Droughts, which is currently where we are. You guys want to go to the catch a ride station just here, hop in a vehicle of any kind. Uh, unfortunately, it is a little bit of a hike from the new station for this farm compared to most farms. Once you go to the left here, you want to go all the way to the back of the map in this direction. We'll have to jump out of the car at this stage. Lavender Crawley is a crew challenge boss if you don't block yourself with a car. He's a crew challenge boss, or they're a crew challenge boss, uh, that actually splits into different barkets. Starts as one large barket, once you kill that one, it spawns into two, and then once you kill those two, they split into another two each. So there'll be four at the end, all with a chance to drop the uh, lineage pistol. Comes with a bunch of different prefixes um, to the gun, but also on top of that, they have a chance to drop the predatory landing, which is another legendary weapon. So there's only two legendaries in the loot pool, which relatively isn't too bad compared to the rest of the bosses in the game. Okay, up next we have the pest pistol this is a high fire rate uh, radiation only elemental cov pistol can come anointed if you'd like it and actually also has two dedicated drop locations both from different crew challenges i'll show you guys both the dedicated drop locations for this one starting with eden 6 in jacob's estate which is where we currently are from the fast travel station you want to run around this corner here all the way through this area you'll have to go over a bridge and to this spot right here it's exactly where we are now there's a new station just here run through this area around this corner and to the right you'll find heckle and hide it's a goliath that jumps down from here it's actually just one uh, at the start he's heckle and once he um upgrades like most goliaths do he'll turn into hide doesn't actually matter which uh version of himself he actually is both of them will drop the pestilence pistol now this is by far the fastest farm for this pistol from the new station to the farm itself is really really short compared to the other alternative but i will show you guys the other one just because they have uh multiple legendaries in their loot pool which you might want to double farm for at the same time so the other alternative is in necro de Feo in tanzandir ruins you're going to be farming the other crew challenge boss there and that is atomic and celestro which is currently where we are from the fast travel station it is unfortunately quite a hike i switched to amara just so we could run it super super quick from the fast travel station just run all the way through this area where it's highlighted blue keep to the right hand side and keep legging all the way through to currently where we are here at this new station so i switched to amara so she has super fast movement speed because it is unfortunately quite a hike but if you run towards this box here any character can make this jump and then this jump over the wall I just keep using Swift Driver so we move super, super quick. If you guys are farming uh, with any other character uh, with slow movement speed, try using a Snowdrift artifact maybe for super quick slide speed. Once you get up to this area here, you'll find Atomic and Celestro just in the back left here. Now Celestro being at the top of the screen about to punch us in the face, drops four legendary weapons in his loot pool, has the Pestilence pistol itself, including the laser spoiler also, the Spiritual Driver Amara class mod, as well as the Rectifier Shield. Whereas Atomic at the bottom of the screen towards the right hand side, it drops three legendary items, including the Plain Toyed Artifact, the Phasor, I believe is how you pronounce it, um, Assault Rifle, as well as the Red Suit Shield. This one's a great farm because the Red Suit Shield is an a a radiation immune shield so if you guys want the pestilent pistol and you're building a radiation build of some kind the red suit would work really really well in that build up next we have the psycho stabber pistol this thing actually shoots knives 
does come in anointed but doesn't come in any elemental types now if you guys would like to farm this one it is located in Promethea in the Meridian outskirts uh, from the Meridian outskirts fast roll station which is currently where we are just behind us here jump in a car real quick or if you're a Mario just run really fast I suppose go out to the left once you get out through this opening there's a little bandit camp up in the air just here jump on this platform and then jump up here again I personally just run through all the psychos because otherwise it takes way too long to farm. But there is a boss enemy called Mormonates, who was originally a rare spawn enemy in the game, but is no longer that. He spawns every single time, and he has three legendaries in his loot pool. That includes the Sawbar, the Kutzman uh, SMG, as well as the Psycho Stabber. Psycho Stabber? Psycho Stabber Pistol. Okay, up next we have the Skexil Pistol. This one can come in Shock, Fire, or corrosive and can also come anointed if you guys want to farm for this one you guys can find it in pandora in ascension bluff where we currently are which means you can unlock it super early on in the game which is fantastic from the fast roll station just here you want to jump in a car uh, yep, there we go or just run really fast depending on your character go straight from the new station miss this rock like i totally didn't just hit it uh, and then once you get to this little area just here there is a boss fight arena for the one and only Scrack. I believe he flies over this corner just here. Um, there we go, there is Scrack, plus a whole bunch of Skags spawn in this area. Scrack has two legendaries in his loot pool, including the Skexil pistol, as well as the Barrage assault rifle, which is a dull assault rifle. This guy is super annoying because he flies around everywhere, but he does only have two legendaries in his loot pool, so it shouldn't take too long to drop, hopefully. Up next we have the Dahl Pistols starting with the Nemesis. This thing can only come in Fire and Corrosive but it can come with Anointments as well. Now if you guys want to farm for this one it is found in Pandora again early on in the game from Ascension Bluff from the one and only Mouthpiece. From the Fast Roll Station it is a bit of a hike you have to go all the way to the Broadcasting Center to so drive a car from this Fast Roll Station all the way through the blue highlighted area jump off i believe just here then run through the entire area until you get through the entire complex to this new station which is at the end of the entire banded camp once you get to this um drop off point this is the boss fight arena in which you will find mouthpiece himself he has two immunity stages once he gets down one third of his health each time and he will drop the nemesis pistol on top of the nemesis pistol he does also drop the mind killer shotgun but he does only have two legendaries in his loot pool so it shouldn't take too long up next we have the night flyer pistol this thing can only come in non-elemental variants but it can come with anointments as well as for dedicated drop for this one you want to go to pandora in the carnivore area unfortunately from the fast roll station it's a bit of a hike uh, but you'll have to run through this entire bandit camp area from the fast roll station just run up to this gate here don't bother killing everyone if you don't want to bother doing all of that if the gate will open regardless if you walk up to it then just run through this area to the left and then you'll have to go up an elevator i believe uh, down an elevator here and then once you get past this area yep up an elevator up here and this is where i currently am uh from this location where the cool skull thing is uh just here is the fast roll or new station rather uh location from there just go to this um catch a ride station just see if i can even remember the names everything uh, hop in a car, hook a left, and then you want to jump this rocket just here, and it'll uh, take you out to this big open area. Went ahead in this uh, general direction. You guys are going to be farming Rackman. Uh, just here, you can see here's a Batman um, Easter egg. We'll have a cool little Rackman symbol in the air. Uh, originally, he was a rare spawn, and that would indicate if he was uh, in fact spawned, but now he spawns every single time which is awesome. So now you guys can just drive there straight away and he'll be there every single time. Once you make it to this location just here, you guys want to go inside. You're going to be farming, like I said, Rackman. He has three legendaries in his dedicated loot pool, including the Night Fly Pistol, which I'm currently holding, as well as the Night Hawking SMG and the Safeguard Artifact. Like you just saw, he does unfortunately teleport and he's really good at dodging shots. Uh, but he does have three legendaries in his loot pool, so hopefully it doesn't take you guys too long to get the legendary you guys are looking for. Up next, we have the Shocking Triple A Pistol. This one can only come in the Shock Elemental type, but can also come anointed. If you guys want to farm for this one, you guys can unlock it from Promethea and then into Electra City. Electra City is originally unlocked from Meridian Metroplex. If you guys are still very new to the game, you guys can uh, accept a mission within Meridian Metroplex uh, to 1v1 Kilovolt and do the whole Moxie side mission for that. 
that is the original reason you guys go to Lecture City. Uh, but from the fast rail station in Lecture City, when I run out here, up the stairs, you're going to be farming originally what was a rare spawn, which is now a uh, constant spawn, which is fantastic. It is a uh, Rick and Morty reference, which is called Wick and Warty, I believe, in the game. Uh, these guys can drop their shocking AAA. If you follow where I'm going currently on the map, jump off here down the stairs and to the right, you'll see Wick and Warty. Warty can spawn on repeat, you guys can kill him constantly. But unfortunately, Wick can only spawn once. By that I mean if Wick is still alive, Morty will keep spawning every time you kill him. Both of them have the exact same dedicated drops, which is fantastic. It includes the triple A uh, pistol, which we're currently looking for, the black hole, as well as the uh, Ferber, I believe how you pronounce it, the shotgun, as well as the uh, Quasar grenade mod. Uh, they can both drop it, so if you guys want to do it as efficiently as possible, I would kill all the wardies first until they stop spawning, and then kill the wick, and then just log in and do it again. Up next, we have the Hornet pistol. This one does come in only the corrosive elemental type, but it can also come in the anointed variant. Okay, as for the dedicated drop location for the Hornet, you guys want to go to Athenus from the uh, fast travel station. It is a bit of a hike, unfortunately, so I switched over to Amara, ran all the way through this Maliwan camp um, in the Athenus area, run all the way through to you get to this ammo dump just here, which is where I currently am. You'll find this new station just here. Turn around and run through this direction. You'll find the Chuba Carbrach is the boss we're going to be farming. It's a crew challenge for Sir Hammerlock himself. This dude has three dedicated legendaries in his loot pool, including the Chupa's Orgrin, uh, which is a grenade, as well as the Nagata Negri Nagata Grenade, as well as the Hornet Pistol, which is what we're looking for. Uh, three dedicated drops isn't too much, and this guy is pretty easy to take down at any level as soon as you get to Athenus, so he's a pretty decent farm. Now onto the Jacob's Pistols. We have the Duke to start off with. This thing cannot come in any elemental type because it does shoot explosive bullets this thing can come in anointed though so that is fantastic if you guys want to farm for this one you guys can find it in the Promethea planet in the forgotten basilica which is where you'll find the rampager he is a uh, vault monster so once you jump down here you'll find him just here and this guy drops several legendaries including the duke uh, but on top of that, he drops the stuffed Quatermizer rocket launcher, as well as the Krakatoa and the Good Juju as well. So this guy does have four legendaries in his dedicated loot pool, so it can take quite a while to get his dedicateds as well, because he does have immunity stages. Uh, he has two of them, and they can take quite a while to farm, unfortunately. Okay, next up we have the Maggie Pistol. This thing does not come in any elemental types, but does come with an anointed drop rate. Now, the drop location for this one is a lot harder, because this one is regarded as one of probably the most popular weapons in the game for pistols wise at least so it is part of the system of slaughter if you guys have been to the system of slaughter already you guys can just go promethea and then the system of slaughter has a faster location itself but if you guys are new to the game you might not have unlocked it yet i knew when i started the game i didn't do it for like probably two or three playthroughs so if you guys go to meridian metroplex again in promethea there is a travel location there okay so bear with me this is kind of hard to show but from the fast travel location jump in a car uh, you want to come straight up from where the catch ride is, turn left, and turn right, go down this little ramp thing here. You're going to end up turning left, go out this side, and turn right, and then turn right, and you'll follow this path here. And if I zoom in, it's really hard to show, but if you go down to the right, it'll take you underground on two levels, and this here is the uh, fast travel location, or the, you know, the, the travel location for the system of slaughter. But now that you're at the system of slaughter, you can turn around and you'll find this dude right here, except this guy's mission is a system of slaughter. If you've never done it before, just a quick rundown. There is five rounds and there's uh, several waves within those rounds. You have to complete all of them until you get to the fifth wave of the fifth round. It does take quite a while to do a um, system of slaughter or a slaughter shaft of any kind. Uh, and then for the Maggie particularly, you're going to be farming tremendous wrecks. I'll try and get a clip on screen so you guys can see what the guy looks like. Essentially, you have to go through waves and waves. This one of uh, animals within the game, uh, you're going to be finding your way through many, many waves. And once you get to the fifth of fifth wave, fifth round, this guy will spawn. He'll uh, spawn for about three quarters of the way through that particular round. And you want to kill that guy because he will drop the Maggie as well as the Lyuda. It shares uh, those two in his loot pool. Now, Slaughter Shafts, including the System of Slaughter, can take a really long time to farm, particularly if you're just going for one gun. Can take up to like 45 minutes to run an entire thing, depending on how quick you guys are. I'm sure you can do it a lot faster if you're speed running it, but it can take a long time regardless. But if you guys do it on a high difficulty, like high mayhem level, it will drop a lot of world drop legendaries along the way. So you get a bunch of legendaries for the time you put in as well. 
But if you guys want to farm particularly for the Maggie and you want to do it through the system of slaughter, if you guys get to the fifth round, the fifth wave of the fifth round, kill Tremendous Rex, make sure there's other enemies alive. If you guys fast travel back to the system of slaughter's fast travel location, being this guy here, as long as you don't go anywhere else, don't save and quit, don't go to Sanctuary, don't go anywhere else, just come back to this fast travel location. Alternatively, you could down yourself, just jump off the map or just shoot your feet with something explosive. It'll take you back to this area right here. You won't fail the mission, you will just go back to the start of round five. So you'll have to just do the five waves in round five again, rather than doing all five rounds and all their waves inside those as well. And it'll save you a bunch of time if you want to do it that way. Like I said, a super difficult farm, but this has always been a top tier weapon in Borderlands 3, so they definitely put it in a difficult place for a reason. Next up, we have the Wagon Wheel Pistol. This thing does not come in any elemental types, but it does come with anointments. Okay, so for farming the Wagon Wheel, you're going to want to go to Eden 6 and then down to the Anvil. And then from the fast travel location, it is quite a hike. Let's just say that. You're going to have to run all the way from, if I can turn the map, there we go. From the fast travel location at the bottom of the screen, run through the entire bandit camp area. Go up to this room here. This is Tiny Tina's uh, room, just in here actually. And go outside, hook a right, run all the way down past the bridge where you meet Mordecai. And that's where I currently am, up in the very top right of the screen. I again switched to Amara because she's the, just the fastest zoomer I have. Jump down this hole. I totally missed it, but there it is. Uh, and you'll be fighting the Warden. Now the Warden drops three legendary items, including the Sickle, the Wagon Wheel, of course, and the Freeman Rocket Launcher, which is dedicated only to him. So he does have three legendary items. Unfortunately, it does take a little while to get the things you want, especially if you guys are going for anointments. And he does have three immunity stages. Unfortunately, once you get to each third of his armor, he goes into immunity stage and then one last one once you get down to his health. But yeah, this is the guy that you're going to be farming if you want the wagon wheel. Next up, we have one of my favorite weapons in the game. It is the king slash queen's coal. This thing comes in all the elemental types being cryo, corrosive, fire, shock, and radiation. But it doesn't come in non-elemental. It has to have an element. It also does come anointed as well, which is fantastic. If you guys want this one, you're going to go to Pandora then down to Destroyer's Rift, and you're gonna be 1v1ing Tyrene, which is where we currently are. Tyrene drops both the King and Queen's Call. Uh, it is a common misconception uh, that Troy drops the King's Call and Tyrene drops the Queen's Call, but that is untrue. Tyrene drops both of them. Tyrene has three different legendaries in her loot pool, including the King slash Queen's Call, the Otto Idol Artifact, as well as the SMG that starts with B and is made by Hyperion, but I ain't saying that loud. Up next, we have the Amazing Grace Pistol. This thing does not come in any elemental types whatsoever, just non-elemental. It does come with anointments, but it's not in the World Drop system whatsoever because it's actually a quest reward. So if you guys want to obtain this one, you will have to complete the Life of the Party mission. I'll show some clips on screen for you guys. First, you'll have to go to Devil's Razor and then Boomtown to accept the mission from Mordecai. Pretty sure this is after the completion of the game, or at least you'll be three quarters of the way through. Then from there, you'll have to travel uh, to a different location in Devil's Razor. Okay, and I'll show you on screen. Essentially, the mission is you have to complete a bunch of missions in honor of a little girl's birthday party and fail those missions so that the dad is happy that the daughter still holds the record for whatever missions they were. By failing all of the steps, you will indeed complete the mission correctly, and then you'll get given the Amazing Grace Pistol at the end. Yes, just a public service announcement. This is kind of a sad mission. Up next, we have the Flood Pistol. It's a super high fire rate Jacob's Pistol. It does not come in any elemental types, just like most of the Jacob's Pistols, but it does come with anointments. Now, if you guys want to farm for this one, you're going to have to go to Pandora and then down to Conrad's Hold, which is where I currently am. From the fast travel station, just run through this entire bandit camp area. To get all the way down here, in the back of the room, you'll find a elevator, go up, and then jump this bridge, run all the way throughout this room, turn to the right, jump down to this little area where I currently am from the drop down there, and we're here. There is a quest mission to complete called the Demon in the Dark. I'm not going to run through the entire mission for you guys because that would just take way too long. But for the first part, you have to find a lever in this big area waypoint is literally just here. Pull this and the door will open. Okay, so for the next stage where you have to activate three uh, Iridian Bruins, they don't really give you that much context. But you do have to line up three of the rings and then shoot one of them. Uh, so for the first location, just jump up on here. It's not too difficult. Line up these three bad boys and shoot that thing. And then... Uh, there we go, we activated one. Next, pretty simple, just jump down from where we were and then shoot this thing, second one. Then for the third, just from where we were over there, walk up to these three, shoot that one. And we have all three open and the door opens. There we go, once we get to the end mission, uh, just in this room here, I'll show it on the map for you guys. 
Once you run in from the original door, go all the way around. Once you process through the mission, you'll find this guy, Lagramar, I think is how you pronounce it. Shoot this guy and he has a chance. Oh, I have a fire weapon pulled up. Okay, he didn't drop it for us during the quest itself, but you guys can just complete the mission, then just save, quit, go back in, and then just farm that guy on a loop. He does spawn back there every single time. The Flood does also share the dedicated loop pool from this guy with the Long Musket SMG, which is actually what dropped in the quest um, mission itself. So there's only two dedicated drops. Shouldn't be too difficult to try and get the Flood if that's what you're going for. Up next, we have the Companion Pistol. This one is another Jacob's Pistol and it only comes in Fire Elemental. It does not come in Non-Elemental and it doesn't come in any other elements. This thing drops in Devil's Razor in Pandora, which is currently where we are. If you fast travel to the Roland's Rest location, you get to this fast travel station right here. Run out to the left and then just down from this location. Use a Snowdrift or just a Boss character. This is actually not too bad of a farm. We go up this ladder here. Hot Carl is a uh, crew challenge boss for Zero, one of uh, Zero's hunt locations. You're gonna have to go through this little bandit camp. I usually just go into fade away. And he spawns from this tent at the back. He does have a shield, which makes him immune to anything uh, if he's got it up. But you go to fade away and just go around behind him or whichever tactic for other vault hunters. He does unfortunately have four legendaries. I'm not really sure where he's going if I'm gonna be honest. But he does have four legendaries in his dedicated loot pool, including the companion, Sledge's shotgun, which is an original Borderlands weapon, as well as the More Pain is Power um, Assault Rifle via COV, as well as the Embrace the Pain Assault Rifle, which is another COV manufactured weapon. This guy does have four legendary dedicated drops in his loot pool, so it can take a little while to get the dedicated you're looking for, unfortunately, but it is uh, happily not a too far a run. It's not a difficult boss fight, so hopefully it doesn't take you guys too long. Up next, we have the Unforgiven Pistol. This is another Jacob's Pistol that does not come in any elemental type. It only comes non-elemental, but it does have an anointment or it can drop it in an anointment. Uh, this one is known for its crazy 432% maximum crit hit damage bonus. It's kind of insane. Now, if you guys want to farm for this one, go to Eden 6 and then to Floodmore Basin. I'd recommend the Noddy Peak uh, Fast Travel location. Once you get here, go downstairs, jump in a car, then jump off this cliff down to this area here. You want to come towards this new station where I currently am, which also has a catcher ride. Alternatively, this is the um, ferocious canopy um, fast travel or travel destination right here. You can come through this door if you'd like and then grab a car, which is where I currently am at. That is the new station. That's the ferocious canopy travel location. You want to either jump in a car or just zoom zoom through these rocks and you'll find Indo Tyrant. This guy is a giant dinosaur. He jumps down from this rock here, but he must have spawned earlier when I drove past. He has three dedicated drops, including the wood blocker sniper rifle, the gunnerang pistol, and as well as the trick unforgiven. This guy is a dinosaur. He doesn't really have that good of attacks. So I'm gonna be honest, he shouldn't be too difficult for you guys. And he only has health, so it's not too difficult to take him down with most weapons. Okay, up next we have the Maliwan pistol starting with the hell shock pistol this thing only comes in two elements at the same time it's fire and shock you can alternate between uh, which one you'd like to use usually it's default bait as c on keyboard or if you guys are on controllers it's usually one of the arrow buttons on the d-pad it can also come in anointments as well okay if you guys want to farm for the hell shock pistol you guys are going to have to go to promethea and to meridian metroplex which is currently where we are from the fast travel station it's back here if you zoom out a little bit if you grab in a car just drive out straight to the right come around this corner here and you'll have to stop here and jump out there's a new station just here where we are just on screen if you are come up this way from the fast travel station or run up these stairs or slide if you're flat that quick movement speed with the snowdrift you'll find gigamind this guy drops the hell shock pistol on top of that just a quick little um bonus thing for the hell shock if you shoot at the ground it initially shoots shock and then the ricochets will shoot fire so you can use both elements at the same time as for his dedicated loot pool gigamind has three legendaries total including the hell shock uh, pistol it also has the red card shield as well as the smart gun xxl which is the one dedicated only to him so yeah you will have three dedicates to farm for up next, we have the Super Bowl pistol via Melee One. This thing can only come in one element, and that is fire. It cannot come in non elemental, only fire, and it can also come with anointments. If you guys would like to farm for the Super Bowl, it is down in Promethea. From the fast travel station of Meridian Metroplex, jump in a car in the catch ride station just here, drive straight out, turn left, and then turn right down this little ramp thing here. We'll go underground, turn left again, and then once you get to the end, turn left and drive to where our cyclone currently is in game. As we're able to see uh, just underground here again. And go down this little hallway 
jump downstairs and you guys will find Baron Noggin. He is a zero hunt crew challenge boss and he only drops the Super Bowl. So it is super easy to get it from him because he only has one dedicated drop in his entire loot pool. Up next, we have the Thunderbolt Fist uh, Melee 1 Pistol. This thing can only come in shock. It doesn't come in non-elemental, just shock. And it can also come anointed. If you guys want to farm for the Thunderbolt Fist, you guys are going to have to go to Promethea and then to Atlas HQ, which is currently where we are. This is the fast roller station just here. And it's actually a really quick way to farm them relative to what most people would think. From the fast roller station, usually in the story, it makes you run out here all the way around, up these stairs and back all the way in. But you actually don't have to do that. I'll show you guys from the fast roller station just here. Whoop, run out this door, up the stairs, and then rather than turning right like you do in the story, you immediately turn left and head towards this balcony slash platform thing up here. You guys are going to be farming the power troopers. They were originally a rare spawn enemy in the game, but now spawn every single time. But I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it first try. From the garden bed, run at that platform right there and then jump as you get to it. Perfect. Uh, usually you can get every time. I'm just a bit of a dirt. Then run towards this roof just here. You're going to be farming the power troopers, like I said, which are, of course, a power ranger's reference. Sometimes if you shoot there, they uh, come down a little bit faster. Now, these guys do have eight dedicated drops total, which is a crazy high number. It's the most dedicated drops of any one enemy. But the thing is, there's not one of them. There's five. They can all drop any of the eight uh, at any given time. They, multiple, they usually drop multiple at the same time because there's five of them. They all have a chance to drop any of the dedicated drops. Like I said, there is eight dedicated drops. So I'm going to read through the list for you guys. There are two grenades being the Tran Fusion Grenade and the Surge. There is a shield called the Nova Burner. There's also three SMGs, including the Hyper Focus, the Spinner, as well as the Vanquisher. There's also the pistol, of course, which we're farming for, the Thunderball Fists. And there's also an Assault Rifle called the Star Helix that all drop from one of these five guys. So total eight is a very high number for dedicated drops for one boss, but because there's five of them, if you spread it out, it's actually on average less per enemy here to farm. So it actually shouldn't be too difficult for the farm for you guys. Next up, we have the Sellout Pistol by Malion. This thing can come in only fire and corrosive elemental. You can switch between the firing modes uh, via the arrows on the controller, or I think it's default to C on keyboards which you can just rebind if you would like it cannot come in non-elemental and it cannot come in any other elemental types i have personally never seen an anointed one please correct me in the comment section if you guys have got one but i'm pretty sure it cannot come anointed like i said this one is a quest reward so to get this one you're going to have to go to eden six and you're going to go to amber Maya, which is currently where we are from the uh rogues hollow fast roller station going to jump out down this little cliff here past the psycho billies and out to the right there's a new station just here to save from and you'll have to go to this area here. Uh, the quest I actually have unlocked right now, which is perfect on this character, it's called the Sellout and you get it from Tyreen. There is two options. You can use the obvious death trap like it says at the top. That is how you get the Sellout pistol. You can also complete it in another way, destroying the cameras, but that does not get you the Sellout pistol. So if you want it, you have to use the obvious death trap, which is currently where we are. The new station is just back there. And this is the obvious death trap. If we walk in here, press this here button, it will close us in and then bam it actually kills us in the game and you'll complete the mission and get the sailor pistol there we go we just respawned at that new station and we found this one in our inventory just after tyrene mocked us a little for doing it we get the sellout pistol up next we have the t-door pistol starting with the baby maker plus plus this thing can come in any elemental type and can also come non-elemental it can also come with anointments like you can see i have one on this one already okay for the baby maker there is three ways you can actually get this one uh the first one is probably the longest way to get it. it's the clap trap uh quest if you guys haven't seen there's a whole bunch of dead clap traps scattered around the map if you collect all of those which does take a while there's one in pretty much every area uh, if you collect all of those clap trap will reward you with a baby maker wouldn't recommend doing that as a farming method because it does take a long time plus it's only a quest reward that way the second alternative is the system of slaughter that one does also take a little while um, there is a boss i'm not going to try and pronounce it but i'll put it at the bottom of the screen so you guys can see what it's called um, there is a boss in the system of slaughter you guys can farm that one if you'd like it is in the middle ish from uh of round five you guys can farm that one if you would like but i'd say the fastest method of doing it would be in necro defeo if you guys go to Pile of Stars, which is where I currently am, uh, the original run is quite extensive. Unfortunately, you would think from the fast travel station, you would just go up here and turn right. Unfortunately not, instead, you guys will have to go from the fast travel station, run straight out and turn left, run all the way around through this entire mobbing area. I just sprint past the mobs. I don't bother ever dealing with them. Keep going all the way around to get to this point here. This is the closest new station to the crew challenge boss called Broad Mullet, which is just here. From the new station, just here, turn around and then run through this door here. We'll uh, 
miss our spiritual job to get there a little quicker for you guys uh, and then just in this little opening here this little cave you'll see a broad mother spawn now currently i'll mention hopefully this is not a thing for very long but i thought i would mention uh just at least if you're watching this um earlier on broad mother does have a glitch where she doesn't spawn every single time so you guys may experience that unfortunately but hopefully if you guys are watching this video later on they've patched that as a crew challenge boss they're supposed to spawn every single time uh, but this one also does have three dedicated drops including the scourge the baby maker of course as well as the ripper smg they do actually have the exact same dedicated drops as the one in the system of slaughter again name at the bottom of the screen i can't pronounce it uh, that boss shares the exact same dedicated drops as this one so it uh, depends whether you guys like doing the system of slaughter or if you guys would just rather farm the broad mother should also mention if you guys would like to do the assistant of slaughter instead you guys can go to promethea if it lets it load there we go the assistant of slaughter will be at the bottom here if you have already discovered it if not go to meridian metroplex and you'll find it in the uh, middle of the map this one just here is the map transition to the assistant of slaughter here's the fast travel station you have to go down here out to the left um down underground out to the left again up here right right all the way through and you'll go underground if you guys can see it um there we go underground and into this map transition just here up next we have the bangarang xl t door pistol this thing can come in any elemental type as well as non-elemental and can also come with anointments if you guys would like to farm for the bangarang pistol go to pandora but halfway down you'll find conrad's hold which is currently where we're at from the fast travel station it's not too far to the new station we're going to prop just out to the right then we're currently here with amara we go out to the right from the new station and just towards this building here it's not too far of a run honestly we're going to be farming what used to be a rare spawn enemy that spawns all the time now which is great it's thunk and sloth uh sloth is the bigger one and thunk is the smaller one that rides at the back uh which is the one we're going to be farming thunk drops two legendaries including the bangarang pistol we'll get up a bit closer for you guys there we go thunk the one being smaller running at the back there drops two legendaries including the bangarang pistol as well as the fastball grenade up next we have the gunnerang t-door pistol this thing can drop in every elemental type except fire so it can drop in cryo corrosive radiation and shock and it can also come in non-elemental again except fire uh, can also come with anointments as well if you guys would like to farm for the gunner rank go to eden 6 and then to flood more basin the fast travel station i would recommend uh being the closest would be at noddy peak that's where you find wainwright jacobs the first time go downstairs to the catcher ride jump off this cliff and then drive towards this new station right here where there's a catcher ride and a travel map transition just here if you go to this location you'll find this um fast travel station right there or new station even uh run around this corner go through the rocks or you can get a ride and go around that side if you'd like you're going to be farming in tyrant which is this giant dinosaur used to be a rare spawn enemy no longer the case which is fantastic so he'll spawn every single time For some reason he's running away from me that usually doesn't happen but he does only come with health so he's not too difficult to take down for most uh characters as well as the fact he doesn't actually have that strong of attacks which is even better because he's currently not attacking me so we should be fine but yeah that little derp down there currently attacking a tree for some reason drops the gunnerang the wood blocker as well as the trick unforgiven pistol so there's three dedicated drops in their loot pool it should take not too long just considering that it's a pretty easy kill and farm speed is pretty fast also up next we have the scorpio xl this thing cannot come in any elemental types just non-elemental you can see it does come with annoyments down the bottom there it isn't in the world drop system but if you guys want to farm for this one you'll have to go to the dedicated drop being judge hightower if you guys are looking for judge hightower you will have to go to promethea then to electricity if you guys have never opened electricity before if you're brand new to the game you find a mission in meridian metroplex that is to 1v1 kilovolt it's a moxie side mission that will originally unlock electricity for you guys but once you've done that go to electricity from the fast travel station it is a bit of a hike because uh, electricity is quite large from the fast travel station just run out to the left all the way around this left hand side to get to this point uh this little narrow hallway or like alleyway i guess follow this thing all the way around there is two options there's a new station just here um but i rather if you guys are going to farm it regularly or like a few times at least i would run past this all the way up to where i currently am which is the killer vault new station which is currently where i am from the new station just here there is the killer vault fight there is the ammo dump which makes it really easy to farm this location because you'll always have ammo no matter what your character you can just jump off this balcony here, head towards this opening and this is where you'll find a judge hightower there's a whole bunch of like ex uh crimson raider looking dudes atlas looking dudes i don't know 
these guys right here, the Hightower crew. You're going to be looking for Judge Hightower specifically. There we go. That's the guy just there. Judge Hightower will spawn every single time. Pretty sure you have to kill a few of these guys for him to come out though. He has three dedicated drops, including the Scorpio XL pistol, as well as the conference call uh, shotgun by Hyperion and the uh, carrier soul rifle from Atlas. If you guys are going for these, it shouldn't be too difficult to farm. Three dedicated is a pretty average amount. The boss fight is pretty easy. He's not exactly a strong boss. He doesn't do that much damage, and he's just an Atlas dude. Pretty sure most people will be able to one-shot him with a really good build. If not, be able to shred him. And the run from the new station isn't too far. It's probably like 15, 20 seconds. And last for the T-Door pistols is the Serve Boss Execute. This one can come in any elemental type as well as non-elemental and can also come with anointments. Just quickly, also, this gun has a pretty awesome talent that's hidden away from the card. If you guys empty this gun, shoot all the bullets out of it, and then the gun automatically reloads as the gun as the game does when you run out of bullets, you'll throw the gun like all the T-Door weapons, but if you hit an enemy with it, that enemy will then highlight a bit red and you'll be able to do 50% more damage to that enemy for 12 seconds. You can stack that as well, so you can get up to 250%, uh, maybe even more, depending on your fire rate, and you can do a lot more damage, particularly for bosses that have a lot of health. It's pretty amazing bonus. If you guys would like to farm for the serve boss, execute, go to Necro de Feo, then to Desolation's Edge. There is actually two locations to farm this one, but this is the fastest by far. Go to the Desolation's Edge, fast travel station which is currently where we're at that's where you meet Typhon by the way go outside and then go to the catch ride turn a right and drive all the way up to where my cyclone is right here jump out and go on foot from there right all the way down here to this location which is currently where there is a new station uh which is where we currently are there's a new station that's where we've come from and we turn around go to towards here this is going to be general Traunt. Captain Tron's older brother, and this is the one we're going to be farming. This guy drops the execute pistol upon farming. He's not too difficult, just like Captain Tron. He does do some decent attacks though, to be honest, so make sure you are ready for this boss fight. This guy has three dedicated drops in his loophole, including the execute pistol, the recursion, as well as the cosmic crater artifact. Alternatively, you can also get it from the melee one takedown, which you have to complete the game for first. You'll travel to Midnight's Khan. It only drops from Wotan himself wouldn't recommend it as an efficient farm but you can potentially get it from there by probably pure rng luck if i'm going to be honest there is 17 dedicated drops for wotan so it does take a very long time if you guys particularly are going for a good anointed one would highly recommend general tron if you're specifically farming for this weapon but again you can get it if you're already doing the melee one takedown up next we have the torg pistols starting with the rosen's thorns which probably has the coolest uh natural skin in the game it looks really really cool uh but on top of that the elements it does only come in corrosive it does actually shoot one corrosive bullet in the middle then four fire projectiles around the outside so it technically does five damage as well it's just not written on the card it doesn't come in non-elemental or any other elemental types but it does come anointed as well if you guys are going to farm for the rosen's thorns you're going to have to go to pandora then to the splinterlands which is currently where we're at from the chop shop particularly far shell station this was the map there's one on this side of the map and there's one on this side go to the chop shop location currently where we're at there's the far shell station just there Hop in a catch a ride, hook a ride, and drive out into the big desert looking area. And in this area, just here, Princess Tarantella, I believe that's her name, just there, you can farm this one just here for the Rosen's Thorns. This enemy does have three dedicated drops total, including the Hive, the Rerouter Shield, as well as the Rosen's Thorns. They did used to be a rare spawn enemy, by the way. They now spawn every single time, which is fantastic. They're not too difficult of a boss fight. They are a spider ant. Their crit hit is that big bold thing on the back of them. So hit that, and it's not too hard of a boss fight. Plus, you can be in a car the entire time, so you can zip around pretty quick. Up next, we have the Occultist Pistol. This one only comes in fire, doesn't come in any other elemental types, and doesn't come in non-elemental, but it does come with anointments as well. To farm for the Occultist Pistol, we're going to have to go to Pandora and all the way down the bottom to the Great Vault, which is where the Far Shore Station for the boss fight, Troy Calypso, is. So you'll spawn just there, jump down into this boss fight arena, and you'll find Troy Calypso. This boss fight is my particularly least favorite boss fight in the entire game. Uh, it does have a lot of immunity stages and this guy jumps around all the time and does lots of damage but if you guys do enough damage you can skip quite a lot of those immunity stages so if you have a tanky build it should be a lot faster and if you don't he does drop a lot of world drops so everything you get some gear and make the farm a little bit easier for yourself but this thing cannot world drop it only drops from troy calypso so it's your only option if you're going for this pistol 
Up next, we're going to combine the Devil's Foursome, the Echo, and the Breeder, because all three of these 12 weapons have the exact same drops for some reason. The Devil's Foursome, to start with, comes with all elemental types, including non-elemental, and also comes with anointments. The Echo also comes with all the elementals and the non-elemental as well, with anointments. And then finally, the Breeder comes with a non-elemental, as well as all elements, and also comes with Anointments, they're all exactly the same. Well, they're not the exact same weapon, but they do come with all of those things. If you guys would like to farm for any three of these pistols, go to Eden 6, then down to Ambermire, which is currently where we are, which is at the Rogue's Hollow uh, fast roll location. This one just here. From there, just run out this door just here, then turn left, run under this tree, or slide under if you're a pro. I messed it up. We go towards this cliff, jump right off. Yes. Don't worry, don't take all damage in Borderlands 3. Slam down for extra speed run into this little cave and you will find these psycho billies. There are four of them. They shoot at you a lot and before I die I'll pause it and just pause it here for you guys. There is four of them. They all have a chance to drop any of these pistols. They also have more dedicated drops than that. In fact they have five drops total. I'll get the list up for you guys. Other than the three pistols mentioned being the Breeder, the Echo as well as the Foursome. They also drop the Electric Banjo Artifact as well as the Chaos um, Dial Assault Rifle. All of which any of them can spawn. There's actually not too many dedicated drops considering there is four of them that any of them can drop for. Up next we have the Devastator Torg Pistol. This thing only comes in non-elemental, no elemental types whatsoever for this one and it does come anointed as well. If you guys are going to be farming for the Devastator Pistol, go to Eden 6, about halfway down you'll find Amber Meyer, which is currently where we're at. Go to the fast roll station of Rogue's Hollow. There's uh, two different ways to go. You can go out this way and then jump off the cliff, or you can just go straight in this room and jump out the window. Both end up around about this area here, and then keep running to get to this new station, which is currently where we are. From here, this is where we came from, and this is with the new station. Run along this path here. We're gonna be farming the Unstoppable, which was originally a rare spawn enemy. He spawns from this door and now spawns every single time, which is fantastic, but it's way easier to farm him. Go into photo mode. This is the guy you're going to be farming. He is a Goliath and drops three different legendaries, including the Band of Sidorak um, shield, as well as the Big Boom Blaster shield, and then, of course, the Devastator Torg pistol. So three dedicated drops. Can take a little while to farm, but luckily he's not a rare spawn anymore, so it's a much faster farm. Up next, we have the Moonfire Torg pistol. This thing can come in every elemental type, as well as non-elemental, which is fantastic. Also comes with anointments, like we see here. We've got a pretty dope anointment on this one. If you guys would like to farm it, go to Sanctuary. You have to have completed the game, and you're going to be looking for this box right here, which is just next to Marcus's ammo place, or just his store in general. You're going to be getting a mission from here called the Mali one take down you'll travel to midnight's con if we go into the menu just here you'll find it uh in the planets section once we go back midnight's con just here we're going to be running through the mali one takedown don't have to be on any particular level as long as you complete it you're going to be farming the woton the invincible boss which is the last boss in the mali one takedown and he's the only one that can drop the moonfire pistol i will also mention that woton has 17 dedicated drops so it can take a really really long time to get a moonfire let alone a good anointed one if you're going to be going for it so it can take a while so so expect that one but the melee one takedown does drop a lot of legendaries as world drops as well so you get a lot of loot on the way as you're farming up next we have the magnificent vladov pistol the first of the vladov pistols this one can come in non-elemental fire corrosive and shock aka not radiation and not cryo it can also come with anointments though if you guys are going to be farming for the magnificent pistol go to eden 6 and then to a ferocious canopy which is about halfway down that's currently where we are from the fast roll station it is a bit of a hike initially uh if i could show it here uh run out straight then go to the left and just keep hugging this wall then go across here this has to be opened through a mission so don't worry about that just go through the big main area run through till you get to this point this is the new station just here Go to the left and you're going to be fighting the Jabba Mogwire, which spawns from this little hut thing here. He is a crew challenge boss for Hammerlock. He technically has three dedicated drops in the loop pool, but it's actually a lot easier than that. You're only really rolling out of two. That is because this guy is a bit of a special crew challenge boss. If you kill him with any fire weapon whatsoever, he will spawn or drop the Hellfire SMG every single time. So it doesn't actually count in the dedicated uh, RNG, I guess, if you're going for the Magnificent Pistol 
pistol. If you kill him with any other weapon whatsoever, it will have a chance to roll out of the Magnificent or the Lead Sprinkler AR. So you're actually only rolling out of two legendary weapons if you're going for the Magnificent Pistol. Also, somehow I almost totally forgot to mention that this guy, if you damage him with a Cryo Weapon Grenade, anything Cryo damage, he'll actually multiply into two more of himself. So he'll keep multiplying and he can do that forever until probably the game crashes don't do that but you can spawn quite a few of them and can farm them like that it's a great way to get purples great way to get more of the legendaries you'll have, won't have to save it quite as much it's a pretty good farm and finally we have the infinity pistol this one can come with any elemental type including a non-elemental and can also come with anointments so there is a boss you can farm for all three of the infinity pistol the ogre assault rifle and the link pistol but you guys have to first complete a side quest called Malevolent Practice, which you collect from Sir Hamlock just after you rescue him from the Warden in the main story. So there's two places you can farm him, or find Sir Hamlock first. Uh, go to Eden 6, and then you want to go to Floodmore Basin. Uh, the closest fast roll station is Noddy Peak. This is where you find uh, Wainwright Jacobs. You can collect the mission from there. Otherwise, you guys can just talk to him at Sanctuary. He's got a little office just above Marcus's um, shop here. So from the shop, just here, I'm sure everyone knows where Marcus's joint is. Just go upstairs, turn around, and in this little building here, you will find Sir Hamlock himself, in which you'll be able to collect the mission from just here. And once you guys have finished that mission, you guys will be able to farm the Anointed Alpha in Eden 6 in the Anvil area. From the fast travel station at the bottom of the screen here, going to run through the entire area filled with mobs to get to this big ambush arena thing just here. There is a new station just back here, so the run isn't too long. Just want to run through here, up the stairs, and in this room towards the back, you'll find a bunch of cells where the anointed alpha will spawn. I'll show you guys a run on screen real quick of me farming the anointed alpha from that new station. That is generally the closest one. There is a secondary option if you guys want to go to the um, room where you find Tiny Tina. She has an ammo dump there if you guys are running low on ammo. Just takes a little bit longer to run out from that room. But like I said, in the back of the room, there'll be a bunch of cells where he will spawn. Uh, he does have some immunity stages, depending on how much damage you're putting out. You can skip them if you are strong enough. Otherwise, he'll have a weird shield thing in which uh, three to four transparent versions of himself will come out. Once you kill those, his uh, shield will break and you'll be able to kill him also. He has three legendaries in his dedicated loot pool, including the Link, the Ogre Assault Rifle, as well as the Infinity Pistol. That is every single legendary pistol in Borderlands 3, all their dedicated drops. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable whatsoever, I'd really appreciate if you guys could smash subscribe down below, hit that bell, and YouTube will notify you whenever I post a video. If you guys want to help us out even more, if you'd like and share the video, it helps the channel grow, and I'd really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to come hang out on Twitch, I live stream every single day just after I post my YouTube videos it's always linked in the description or you can just search Cody McHugh on Twitch my name is the same on all my social media I mostly use YouTube Twitch and Twitter so you're more than welcome to check me out on all of those if you'd like Twitch is usually just a fun place to hang out with a bunch of people that like Borderlands 3 hang out with a wholesome chat and get up to some random shenanigans in Borderlands 3 so if you guys want to come hang out I'd really really appreciate it don't forget I'll be making a video just like this for all the classes weapons in Borderlands 3 for like assault rifles SMGs shields artifacts all that stuff is going to be covered it's going to be linked in the description down below or just check the end card title screen thing it'd be link there with a playlist for you guys and uh yeah other than that i hope you guys have a fantastic day i'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream till then adios